I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. There are other variations. You can play two hands with three players. You could play four hands with two players, four hands with three or four players. This game is taken off like wildfire. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We will alternate between player one and player two. So we will get 28 tiles, 27 tiles, and then 28 again. Joker, Norths, pair. White dragon, pair, and a green dragon. In cracks, we have three, five, six, seven, nine, pairs of fives and sevens. In bams, we have one, three, five, one, three, five, seven, eight, nine, pairs of sevens and nines. In dots, we have three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, pair of sevens. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play five, seven, nine with sevens in the middle and then three, four, five, white dragon. So here's five, seven, nine with sevens in the middle. All the pairs are there. Five, nine, or five, nine, one or the other. And whatever we don't use, we could maybe use it as joker bait. The other thing I was thinking is this three, four, five dragon hand is really slim. So maybe hold all the little odds. And try to play something with little odds as an option. If that three, four, five hand doesn't work. In which case we wouldn't need this. I would still hold it though. We even have five, seven, nine here, five, nine in dots, five, nine in cracks, and five, nine in bams. So maybe start by discarding those and see what shakes out. We have a lot of odds. Joker, flower, pair, east, green, white. In cracks, we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine singles. In dots, we have one, three, five, one, three, four, five, eight, nine, pung of ones, pair of fives. In bams, three, four, five, six, eight, singles. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play the four, five pair hand and one, two, three mixed suits under consecutive run.
we have a lot of discards. But this pair hand potential here, we have no gaps. So I would come up with some plan B here. We do have six, seven, eight, nine in there. Maybe three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. This is the problem. Or I should say challenge. The glass is full. This is a challenge. It's not a problem. It's a challenge. So we have a pung here of ones. That's why I thought we could play one, two, three in mixed suits. I think I would want to get the pair hand first because it's a higher point hand. Then hope for flowers here. The other thing that I was thinking we could do is of course three, six, nine. Maybe hold the dragons in case we get more ones. We could maybe do like numbers with ones and leverage that pung. So I think what I would do is discard these first. See if 369 comes in or consecutive run and focus on that pair hand. Three hands, that's a challenge really. The other thing I was thinking we could do one, three, five dragon, but then that would destroy that hand, the pair hand. I thought if we were to do that one, three, five dragon, maybe we could do seven, eight pair hand, but we have just two eights and a seven, eight. It's pretty light. This, this has no gaps. This would be a challenge. We have a pair of flowers, red and green. We almost have news, pair east, no north. In cracks we have two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, pairs of fives and sixes. In dots we have two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine singles. And then in bams we have three, four, five, six singles. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play three, six, nine pair hand and four, five pair hand. No gaps for either hand. Kind of heavy on those discards. We have a pair hand potential here, no gaps. Here we have three, six, nine. We do have a little gap right there, six dot. But we could do three, six, three, six, nine, and then three, six, nine here if we can get those six dots. But I would hold this red dragon as an option to see if maybe the three, six, nine with dragons comes in. And then up here, let's see, we could maybe hold on to twos and wins for a potential pair hand and maybe start by discarding those. Three, six, nine pair hand, four, five pair hand. I think that's what I would try to do. A lot of discards though. Big hands, a lot of discards. It would be a challenge, which is why it's so much fun. After I get my dealt tiles, I build around the strength of the hand, and that could be multiples or the predominant pattern. And I try to make a plan supporting the strengths of those hands so that I have eight discards or less. If I have more than eight discards, I try to come up with plan B for the weakest hands. Sometimes that means that you might even have three different hands, and that's okay. Gather. When you run out of discards, reassess 
build around the strength of the hands, try to make a new plan so that you have two strong choices. It's very challenging and a lot of fun. If you haven't tried it yet, I hope you give it a try. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.